Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna go over my five favorite picks for top AI avatar creators. 2024, creating AI avatars is a big thing right now. I'm gonna show you my favorite ones, let's go. All right, and before I get into the first tool, just keep in mind that this is a fast moving space. AI is constantly changing, constantly improving, so you may want to check in every once in a while and see the latest changes with these tools and other tools. So let's get into it. The first tool I want to show you is Acool's AI Avatar Creator. All right, so here we are logged into Acool, and I'm going to show you a few seconds snippet of a video right here that I just made, and then I'll show you how I did it real quickly here. Let's go. Engrave a mix of emojis, names, initials, and numbers to make AirPods unmistakably yours. The H2-powered AirPods Pro feature adaptive audio, that is a very good AI avatar video. Luckily, it's easy to do. We can create it on acool.com. I'm just going to go ahead and click on platform here, hover over it, select realistic avatar. Once you do that, just click on get started. If it's your first time logging in, you may need to sign up. It's free to sign up. It's asking me if I want to work on my unfinished draft. I do not want to do that. I want to show you what I just did in just a few quick seconds here. So real quickly here, once you're in the back end here, all you got to do here is click on this here. I'm gonna click on template and I'm just gonna add that. I'm gonna click on start editing. Now you do not have to use their templates. I'm just gonna use them because it's quick and that's what I just did in the video that I showed you. So I'll just show you how easy this is. The next step here is it asks you to select your avatar. I'm gonna pick a different avatar. I'm gonna pick Tristan and Tristan has on his plaid jacket looking thing there. Looks good. Okay, we're gonna change his size in a few short seconds, but for now we'll leave it as is. The next thing, under avatar, you'll see we can upload our own audio script here. We can add in our own text script, or we can even create a singing avatar if we're so inclined. In this one, I'm just going to use a text script. But if you have a script of you talking like, hey, it's me and whatever, you can upload it and just upload it here under the audio script. Just click on upload file. I'm going to go with text. I'm going to generate the audio. And once you hit that button, you'll see down here. We've got ourselves a nice little preview area, a nice timeline with a playhead. If you've ever edited any video ever, you know how all this stuff works. It's nice and easy. We can just go ahead and add in and change things as we see fit. The elements here on the left side is the next thing I'm going to show you. If you want to add in stickers or emojis or icons, any of that kind of stuff, change the background image. It's all there. Same thing with media. If you want to upload your own avatar, or you've got your own music that you want to use. For example, I've got a song I created on Udio. It's all there. It's ready to go. It's literally that easy. Once you've got it sort of the way you want it, you can go ahead here and you can just sort of slide through the timeline. I'm just taking a look at how everything works. That's yeah, looking pretty good. But the guy disappears here pretty quick because he's only got a few words to say. So what can I do? I can click on him here. Actually, let's click on that little box behind him. Let's delete it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to click on... Tristan, I'm going to increase the size of Tristan dramatically, just showing you how easy it is to just go ahead and start making adjustments as I'm doing here. Literally, when you've got what you want, click on Generate Premium Results, and that's it. You can do it in 1080K or 1080p or 4K. Also, keep in mind, if you are into the YouTube Shorts and the TikToks, you can change the aspect ratio just by hovering over this little button here and dropping it down and selecting a different aspect ratio. That's all it takes to create amazing AI avatar videos with Acool. Now, let's look at Adobe. All right, the second AI avatar creator I wanna show you is by Adobe. It's part of the Adobe Express package, but here's the thing, in order to find it, I find that I often have to type into Google or a search engine, Adobe avatar creator, because it's kind of buried in the Express homepage. So once you type that in, you'll get a link here that says free online avatar maker. Click on that, and you're gonna get something like this. Now, actually, let's go through it, the, let's go through it this way. The reason why I want to do that is I can show you here is that it's free to use and there's no credit card required. That said, it is completely different than all of the other AI avatar makers in this series because it is, well, it's cartoons, right? So this is fantastic if you like to create animated cartoons where they chat and talk and you can add some production value to your videos. They're not really traditional AI avatars in that sense, but hey... It's an avatar maker, and I use it quite a bit for what it's used for. So here we go. Uh, here's an example here. The first thing you want to do is you want to select your character. This is the default character I've got selected here. 
But you'll see here as I scroll through this list, there's like almost 100 characters that you can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and select, let's select Bluster. I like Bluster. Okay, we've got a snowman, and it's just that simple. Just pick whatever character you want. Then you can select the background. You can either make it a solid color by clicking here. You can have a transparent background, or you can have something cool in the back. So I'm going to have a spring clover. Okay, so we got like this snowman with a, you know, nice spring, Irish spring day behind it. Good enough. And last but not least, you can select the size if you want it to be a landscape, traditional YouTube style, or shorts, YouTube shorts, TikToks, things like that, reels, you can select this style. I'm going to keep it the way it is. And then all you need to do is click on record. I'll just go ahead and do that. Watch this. Eep, eep, eep. Hi, I'm a snowman. I'm going to keep it nice and short just so I can show you the technique. It should only take a few seconds here. I'll come back when it's done, then I'll show you the next step. All right, it is done. So if you want to take a look at it, here we go. I'll just hit play. I'll just hit spacebar. Hi, I'm a snowman. That's it. And if I want to keep it, I just click download. And that is literally all there is to it. It's free. It's not like the other ones, but it's a cool way to make cool cartoony animations. All right, let's get on to the next one. So you want to grow your YouTube channel and promote your brand. All right, pretty cool video, eh? All right, well, let me show you how I did it real quickly here. I, this is the first page here. You want to go to veed.io. Links in the description. And then once you click on login, if you don't have an account, sign up. It's free. Let's just go over here to the back end here. So here's the back end. Now, all you need to do here is go ahead and click on create avatar video. And then watch this. It's very simple to use. Well, we can go ahead now, pick our avatars the first step. I don't know. Let's go with, I don't know. Let's go with Debbie. Okay, we're going to add Debbie in. We're going to keep the language as is. Hi, my name is Debbie. Nice and simple here. And then I'm just going to add it to the project. And then it's going to process that. And then literally, we are on our way. I'll show you a few more techniques while I got you here. So there's Debbie. And it's gone ahead and generated our avatar, which looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to click on settings. You'll see here that you can also change the sizes. So if you want a widescreen version, great. But if you want that short version, you can go ahead and select YouTube short, TikTok, etc. And you can also go ahead and change the background colors. So right now it's at black. But if you wanted a green background, easy to do. Under media, like I said here, we've gone ahead and added in our avatar. But when we go down a little bit further, you'll note here that we can add in background videos. So kind of like that construction ver uh, worker one that I showed you. I'm going to go ahead and add this one in, which is the same background. While I got you here, I'm going to pull the handles a little bit here just to make it nice and big. So there we go. It just expands over the entire thing. And for those of you that are wondering where Debbie went, well, she's just on the bottom track. So I'm just going to move her up to the top track. And when you do that, you'll have Debbie back. Simple things like this, guys. It's very easy to use. Veed I.O. If you want to add in your own music, you can do that. Subtitles, text. If I wanted to go, hey, thanks for watching, I could just click on that. And you'll see here on the timeline that it has started it pretty much in perfect condition here so watch this I'll hit play Hi, my name is Debbie thanks for watching and they're a little bit they've got a nice timed version here where thanks comes in first watching comes in second and then yeah like comment and subscribe so that is all there is to it guys links in the description below vdio is a great AI avatar creator okay let's get on to the next one all right the next program I want to talk to you about is Wondershare Verbo now I'm gonna go ahead and use the online version but I want to quickly show you that when I hover over product, you'll see they've got desktop versions as well as a mobile version. So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and use the online version. So I'm going to click on the online version. And then it's very easy to use, very similar to the previous program, where literally all we got to do here is just pick an avatar. In this case, I'm let's go with let's go with Ruby. She's formal. And bang, I'm going to hit create video. And there she is. The background's been added in by default. Now, if we wanted to change the background, obviously, that's where we start here. I could put her in front of a nice purple and blue type of gradient. Click on that button there, and presto, there we go. We could keep the text here if we want it to be, you know, with subtitles where you can see what she's saying. Go ahead and do that if you'd like. And, of course, we can go ahead and add in various other things, like, for example, templates. They've got really nice professional templates. So if I wanted it to be something like this one here, what is that, a backpack template? Okay. I'll take it. I like it. Moving her around is very simple to do. You can resize her. Very similar to the previous version. Of course, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Also, adding in stickers, music, 
things like that. Very easy to do. One click only. That's it, guys. It's very simple to use. Links in the description below. Let's get on to the last one. All right, the fifth and final one I want to show you is Synthesia. Synthesia here, you can go to synthesia.io. You'll see here I'm on their website. I'm going to go ahead and click on Get Started. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with the free plan. It gives you, you know, one editor, 36 minutes of video per year, which is three minutes a month, which isn't actually all that much. But hey, it's good to get started with. Now, I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google and account part of me. And here's the thing that I'm not a big fan of. You'll see it in a second here is you got to go through a lot of questions here. So what department are you in? I'm a freelancer, let's say. And what and what are you interested in making? How to guides and how did you hear about Google? How did you hear about us? I'm going to go with Google. Not a big fan of having to go through that many questions to sign up. But anyways, once you're in, here's what we got here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on create my first video. And again, we get 36 minutes per year. So here we go. We're going to load this up here. And it's actually very easy to use. So you can see here, it started off with this template pre-built. I can click on pretty much anything I want. So if I want to change that from my logo, I could just write in my name here. Oops, let's do it in caps lock. Curtis pike and it's nice and easy to do here the timeline's also very similar so i'll just go ahead and scan through just like i'm doing here five seconds long if i want to add in another scene here if i want to add another bit i can just click on this plus here to add in a new scene very easy to do let's go ahead and add this one here we're going to have her in a nice red shirt this time and now that has been added on to the end the big thing though is right here is where the text is you have to type in what you want it to say so i want it to say hello my name is daisy or something like that and then again it's very simple to use i'll hit play hello my name is daisy so there you go you can hear that this the audio works perfectly it's a nice sounding uh voice and again you can go ahead and change everything up my name is daisy something like that and again we added in some new scenes if you want to add in more text you can go up here and hit text and you can add in titles, subtitles, if you want to add in things like shapes, like maybe I want to add in a circle. Well, there it is, and I can put it up here in the top right. Things like that, very easy to use. Add in your own media, your own backgrounds. You can switch in video backgrounds. So if I want Daisy to be, you know, in front of that, for example, there we go. We've got this cool-looking background. I can just go ahead and increase the size as I do. And there we go. And then maybe I would just send that to the back. But again, guys, all of these things are very easy to do. I'm going to send it to the back, yes. And there we go. That's it. Once you're done, you can just click on Generate. Job's done. You're good to go. Those are my five top picks for creative AI generators. Thanks for watching.